Hello everyone, and thank you for rejoining me here in Kaiserreich playing as, well, John Nance Gardner, Cactus Jack, uh, in the United States of America. But unfortunately the AFP contested the election results, in which we have a couple comments to go over from yesterday's video and a couple other things. But first, the AF leadership has contested the results of the election. They claim that the Reed's allies have rigged the election and demanded a recount. Huey Long even gave a mocking speech accepting the presidency to his followers. Some murmurs from inside the AFP have reported that the Democrats that left for the AFP have expressed regret for losing this historic election. Regardless, hope you're all having a great day. Last time, I wanted to focus very heavily on our ships, but that's okay. You know what? That's totally okay. So in this episode, we will definitely hit the Civil War in which I would... In which we will be in a three to four or five way civil war eventually. So, another event. Hoover supports the new president. Hoover broke personal political ties or lines to throw his support behind the incoming president, Garner. Hoover stated that only adherence to the word of the law could bring the country together in these tough times. Garner, in turn, has thanked Hoover for his service to his country. His support is appreciated. Uh, so, I, I played through this off screen a little bit to see what, what we could do. We're trying to develop the U.S. Navy right now. But for us to get the American Caesar, or Kaiser, as some might say, we will have to choose a certain path. So, eventually we will do the focus that says austerity through the storm. We have to choose that if we want Mac Daddy in power, as we do say. Uh, go ahead and deploy this soldier. I want us to be, really be able to uh, get some infantry out before the war really starts. Because we're going to need to defend pretty heavily. Because coming around here, it is not going to be too easy to do this campaign with what we've selected. Also, a couple comments such as, apparently, yeah, this is Dreadnought Hole. It's going to be finished around 2001, so like even after 9-11 happens, um, we still won't have this. <laughs> so, it is what it is, ooh, whatever. And we established yesterday that this is a garbage ship to a degree, so yeah, let's go ahead and, we have enough naval XP to switch it around for now. Escort cruisers, uh, rapid fire guns, cool, cool, cool. Secondary things, secondary batteries, get level 2, I don't think we have any level 2 for this, that's fine. Aircraft ones, any radar, sonars, well at least use sonar, sonar. that would be good, and do that, and do that, and then uh, do that, that's good. Now that's a good little cruiser. There we go, yep, this is it. And that's a good one. Cool. So that's that's the idea for this campaign, or at least for this episode. Um, we're going to have to choose the 4 to 5 way civil war, which is going to be okay. Democratic left victorious in Brazil. Grum them stuff that way. We got some more carrier stuff. Uh, let's see. It's only... Oh, it's almost 37. Let's go ahead and do that. That's fine with us. Uh, someone recommended that I take away freedom, punish opposition, manifest destiny 2.0 whenever we win this of war. And if you want to read about the status of the U.S. Navy, I'm not going to read it, but go right ahead and read it if you'd like, it. like to. Cool. Next up, we can't actually do anything yet until a little later, so... We're just going to soak up all this political power. I actually want to save the political power for now. There's really no point to spend it. So I might as well just hold on to it for now. Uh, please, 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 please. We want more guns. We want more good stuff. Uh, Jabal Shamar. Eventually we won't have any ships. We, we will lose some of the ships here. So my goal, hopefully, is to try to strike the CSA when they rebel first. Because I want Chicago. I want Detroit. And I want to make sure that we keep New England under us, hopefully. Especially New York City. Get through Pennsylvania, conquer Pennsylvania, smash through to New England as long as Canada doesn't take it. I don't know if Canada will take it or not. I have no idea. So, there's that. Really want to smash these guys first and then focus on the American Union state. Just because, I don't know, I think it would be kind of cool. Oh, so New Year's Day strike. In protest of the election results, the SBA has launched a new strike on New Year's Day, which has crippled the industries of the North. Councils of trade unions and councils of professional workers have been set up to run the cities of the Steel Belt during the strike. The Hearst newspapers have demonized this to be similar to the general strike that set off the British Revolution. Which, yeah, that's nice. Y'all going down here, I'm not going to touch that, so. Because I want to make as many guns as I possibly can, as quickly as possible. Because my gosh, we're going to need a lot of guns. And it's probably going to end up that we're going to be stuck in a corner around DC, trying to defend that little dirt patch for as long as possible. Holding on to Baltimore barely, Dover probably barely, so... We, uh, yeah, we're gonna need some extra time. We, it's not gonna be easy. It's definitely not gonna be easy, and that's okay. But happy 1937, everyone. I hope you're having a great, great year. Europe is looking, well, they're looking okay. Base strike, very good. 37. Uh, get carrier organization and the inauguration. Ghana has been sworn in now, and as the 31st president of America. 
Gardner's speech spoke about how we must not compromise our democratic values with radicals left or right. Gardner was quoted as saying, we are in a tough-minded recognition that the fight for a better America is a long one. On the economy, Gardner has promised reform through personal sacrifice and austerity, as we've done after the Panic of 1893. Gardner enters the White House surrounded by the hostile parties, senators, as well as wary Republicans, though he has assured that the public that the longest and unionists will tire themselves out before the end of the year. Act quickly, huh? Oh, okay, completed some sort of focus. If not selected, we lose 100 political power, so let's not do that. So, we have to choose austerity through the storm. Austerity measures on government agencies and increased taxes are the way out of the Great Depression. This means combating both the AFP and SBA to see such measures passed and enforced. The Austerity Bill. President Garner has introduced an emergency austerity measures bill into, into Congress today, an almost certainly controversial piece of legislation, which will see the government spending cuts across the board, especially towards the Social Security net. Garner's speech to the Senate spoke of the sacrifice needed if America is to recover from the Great Depression, and was met with mostly skepticism and jeers from non-democratic senators. Even Garner's own cabinet expressed reservations about regarding his choice, suggesting his passage of the bill might prove difficult, though it can be if it can be managed, it would almost certainly save the country. Well, let's see what happens. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and just do this as well. What are we going to need? Uh, you know what? Finish that off one. Finish that one first. It'll be fine. And then we're going to need a couple more military factories. And where we're going... We ain't going to have that many. Let me put it like that. Oh, Long denounced his austerity measures. Of course he would. As discussions began in Capitol Hill regarding stuff, or the austerity bill, the AFP immediately denounced it. Long said in a North Carolina speech that austerity did the exact opposite of what was necessary. Rather than sharing the wealth, it took every little bit of wealth from those who needed it the most. And though the Republic declared in Serbia. Uh, so austerity, he claims, would leave the average American more desperately poor than they are now, and would leave them vulnerable to syndicalist rhetoric. Long said he would be directing AFP up to oppose the bill at every turn for the sake of the country. Um, you know what? That's nice. I'm going to leave you down there like I do with everything else. So, yeah, leave us alone. What are we missing? Oh, tactical bomber. So, uh, the voting bill commences. So, voting on the emergency austerity measures bill began on Congress today, though early indications were not good. While the bill is solidly backed by Democratic senators, it is rapidly opposed by both the radical parties, and there's enough Republican senators remaining on the fence, unwilling to be swayed. That passage may prove unlikely without intervention. The President's cabinet is suggesting calling for a meeting of major party representatives in Philadelphia to try and work out a compromise, at least enough of one to make the passage easier. It is also possible that President Garner could campaign for the votes of influential Republicans. A coalition may not have been in the cards, but perhaps he could appeal to their sense of civic duty on this one instance alone. Uh, arrange for the Phil Philip Philadelphia meeting. That would be good. All right, very nice. Now I'm not sure how big our navy is going to be. It's probably not going to be big though. So the meeting has begun. The historic meeting in Philadelphia begins today with all four major political parties being present and Ghana appealing to them that a compromise on the austerity bill was necessary for the sake of national peace and prosperity. As the parties talked, however, it quickly became clear that Long and Reed were both absorb most of the attention. Despite the number of senators they represent, everyone in the room rose very well that the influence they hold in the country, and both men disagreed on almost every aspect of compromise. Reed wanted workers protected from cuts to government contracts, while League wanted to add an open shop clause to austerity. While there's evidence that President Garner and Huey Long see eye to eye on many issues, it, it is quickly becoming clear that the compromise will be utterly impossible with both men present. And you know what? We're going to all go together and see what happens. There they go. People are dying. Romanians joined the Belgrad Pact. Oh boy! Yep, no one cares. Yeah, I know you're going to do that, Long. So, they saw the meeting. While President Garner's attempt to get Huey Long and Jack Reed to come to some kind of agreement with what was commendable. After several days of debate, it appears that most have come to naught. Both men are frustrated and several times each has threatened to walk out of the meeting entirely. It is apparent from the proceedings that Jack and Long's control over the parties were waning as both made frequent breaks to confer with their team. The Republicans are split on the matter, and there are not enough of them who will vote for the bill if they believe the country will erupt into violence anyhow. Both Long and Reed have given a deadline until tomorrow, at which point they say there is no chance of the, uh, the Philadelphia meeting continuing. The gathering senators are looking to the president to somehow solve the impasse. What can I do? Well, do something, unless you might get removed from power. Maybe, maybe not. And here we go. MacArthur and the army removed Ghana. It appears President Garner's time is up. MacArthur, or Mac Daddy, marched into Washington, D.C. today, having declared Garner an ineffective president whose weakness has endangered America. MacArthur's marchers reminded many in D.C. of Cox's army in 1932, except these men are motivated to preserve the country from extremist forces. Garner's own cabinet has assured the public that this action is necessary, and have been working with MacArthur to install an emergency government from the White House, even as the majority of America looks on in shock. Civil war is imminent. Cool. So in the meantime, go and train and go bye-bye. You know what? I might just delete the entire Navy. But that wouldn't be fun. Let's have a lot of naval battles. So it has come to this. The Junta Party will be amassed. Uh, hmm, I want to make more of this. I'm not sure this is going to really hurt us that much. I'm just going to do that. Put you low. Just come join us. Because we're going to need every division possible. And... Ah, we're pretending autocrats. I love it. And any day now, we could end up in a civil war. There we go. 
Reed calls for action. Reed is given a rousing radio broadcast from Chicago, urging all his followers to rise up against the twin tyrants of MacArthur and Huey Long. Within an hour, a number of governors across the steel belt have announced their support and declared both Huey Long and General MacArthur as having no true authority. The governors have been bolstered by Reed supporters who within days have taken over army posts and erected roadblocks throughout the northern states. Disaster has begun. A stand by the Republic. More stability, more support, which we desperately need. Next up. Now, we could do more stuff with the U.S. Navy, but that's not really worth it. Air Force debate. We can do nothing else except what we really need to do is the Army Reform debate. The question of the hour, which direction should the U.S. Army take to not only respond but anticipate to a prolonged land warp? The opinion of MacArthur is a given, already having prepared for this conflict within his inner circle, which is good. So now, this is the time to go and recruit people here. Uh, Huey Long will rebel, so we probably can't do any of this. So let's go ahead and grab... We could grab Missouri, which will be important. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of places that we don't have. I really want Northern California, but they'll probably break away as well eventually. So just in case, I'm going to go with Missouri first. Probably, yeah. Let's do that. And we lost quite a few factories, I bet. We still need more guns. All right, you're going to be under someone else. Probably Mac and Daddy himself. And he's an aggressive assaulter, which is great. Um, just go ahead and come like over here. That'd be fine for now. Because I really want to take out Philadelphia. If I can get Philadelphia. Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is really good. And there he goes. Huey Long. And the Cairo Congress. So, in a fiery speech in New Orleans, Huey Long has spoken about the need to fight both the traitor MacArthur and Reed. Both are tyrants that need to be toppled, and only the AFP under his guidance can cleanse America. His gain ready listeners among a number of Southern governors, all who have recognized that they've recognized the authority of neither Mac or Reed. Which is a bunch of hot garbage. So we got that. Hopefully North Carolina stays. Kentucky hopefully stays. Good God, I hope we get all these. Keep all these states. Hey, look, there we go. Um, it's not going to be easy. It's never going to be easy doing this. I really want to focus on these guys first. As long as we can get Pennsylvania, I hope we keep North Carolina and Tennessee. We might not. My goal is a quick push through Pennsylvania. Get to Ohio, keep up, and link up with New England if possible. I'm joined here with my cat, Binky, which is great. Uh, we've got a little bit more political power. We can go to partial mobilization. We're, we will go to war economy anyway, so it won't really matter. Uh, I forget exactly which places here we are going to stay with us. Remington owns Colorado for now. Um, Marlin, Connecticut. We'll see upstate New York, maybe Savage Arms. Massachusetts, Massachusetts. New Jersey isn't bad. I think I'm just going to wait until the war actually breaks out to change things around here. Uh, military staff, though, that would probably be best. I, I think I want to focus very heavily on, on artillery in this campaign, so... Let's go ahead and choose this, probably, unless there's something here for military staff. Uh, division attack would be good. Yeah, well, let's use artillery for this campaign. Next time, next time we play the Federal USA, we'll probably go with tanks. I think that'd be good. Oh, come on, come on. Pacific Governor's declare emergency. God dang it. So, the governors of the Pacific states have declared that MacArthur, Huey Long, and Jack Reed are all traitors, terrorists, and enemies of America. They currently have not have seceded from the Union, but instead refuse to recognize the authority of any competing gov governments. Frank Merriam, the governor, announced at a Sacramento legislature that if push comes to shove, they will see proper democracy restored to the country by force. So, go screw yourself, my son. Mmm, you're a traitor. Down with the traitors, up with the star. The star of MacArthur. Lucian? Walter Kruger? Omar Bradley? Yeah, Bradley's probably the guy we need right now. Could be a fortress buster, too, which I like. Sign up in America, 30-day deadline. The 30-day deadline by the federal government to the rebellious states has so far gone without any Ed state governors changing their mind. The federal government is consolidating its position, but has warned MacArthur to expect further violence and state defections prior to the deadline's end. Most in Washington appear pessimistic that an all-out war can be avoided. Uh, we get a lot of political power and way more stability. We shall see. Cool. We got all that political power. And have we lost anyone else? Go ahead and grab this. I'd like the dar daily army XP gain. Reconnaissance is nice. I think attack would probably be best, though. So less than box option. Probably more attack. That's honestly probably what we need. And anything else? Ships hopefully will be made someday. U.S. Navy will defect eventually. Keep an eye on this. And riots in New England and New York. In recent days, syndicalist militias have been struggling and failing to take control of the northeastern states, such as New York and New Jersey, all the way up to the coast of Maine. So far, governors in the region have clamped down hard on the violence, though the result has been a series of violent riots in Boston and Buffalo, not to mention a wave of uprising still ongoing within New York City itself. Citizens are on the edge, and the governors have denied the federal government permission to raise local militias, militias in the area, fearful of increasing tensions further. A uh, few New England governors are reported to take, are quietly asking the Canadian government to intervene should worse come to worse. 
got eight days left. Come on, we gotta get him out of here. Because I'm not gonna be able to hold the Midwest and against the American Union state and against the combined syndicates of America. There's no way I can hold that. Really, the CSA has got to die first. So, hey, we maintain control of Minnesota, which is actually somewhat difficult for us to do. Violence by syndicalist militia groups expanded to the city of Minneapolis and the surrounding region, with blockades erected on roads and the Minneapolis airport repeatedly invaded by several armed groups. Before the violence could spread further, though, the governor of Minnesota declared the state's allegiance to the country proper and rededicated the state's loyal National Guard to fight back the insurgents. While the struggle continues, for the moment, the state remains in federal hands, which is a good, good thing. Now, okay, so since we're over here... Oh, wait, can we We can go up there too, but we're going to wait. Um, because Long is going to do a lot, I'm going to abandon Minnesota, even though they declared support for us. Um, yeah, that's what we're going to have to do. I don't want to say we have to do it, but we have to. Uh, auto? Oh, yeah, we don't have that. Uh, and North Carolina declared support for Huey Long, reporting or responding to mounting pressures from the militia groups in Charlotte. The governor of North Carolina declared today that the state would join these aligned with Huey Long, while the reports of riots breaking out in several cities. Most of the state appears to support the governor's decision and already. Federal forces are pulling out of the region before they find themselves overwhelmed. God dang it, you piece of the garbage. Dissolution of the U.S. Navy. Uh, if you want to read this, go right ahead. It is whatever. So I did not expect the Pacific Fleet to be full of traitors. Whatever. And anti-American rights spread into Puerto Rico. With the Civil War now in full swing, we have received unnerving reports from the governor of Puerto Rico, Blanton Winship, about anti-American rallies and protests asking for independence from the island from our government. While secessionism in Puerto Rico has been strong since the U.S. annexed it back in 1898, it has never gathered enough strength to strengthen the, or threaten the governorship. With their hands full on the mainland, the governor has requested for us to give him exceptional powers to handle the situation and seek a resolution. What should we do? Tell the governor to handle it on our own. I don't want to worsen the situation. Tell the governor to handle it on its own. Place Puerto Rico. Who wants to place Puerto Rico? I don't. Oh, some people do, I bet. I bet, but that's yeah, okay. Hey, look, another... Hey! Another little fleet. Cool. It's fine. Cool. We're not going to have a lot of fuel for this, too, anyways. <sighs> Can't really choose anything, because I don't know which groups are going to leave yet. Oh, my goodness. We need so much. And God dang, we even lost Tennessee. Conflicting reports of battles between syndicalists and Longest militias throughout the state of Tennessee were resolved today when the Longest militias stormed the state legislature in Nashville. Governor Gordon Browning was taken prisoner, and while federal forces fought for control over the cities quickly, it became clear that the militias have a clear advantage. Already, federal forces are withdrawing from the state, conceding control to Huey Long supporters. Traitors. Leaving Earth to the governor? God dang, son. God dang. Well, we lost Tennessee, which is a bunch of garbage, but whatever. Um... Are y'all okay? Do you go home? Oh, we lost Nimitz, didn't we? Yeah, hmm. Go and do that. Maybe Kincaid is still here, which is good. And our fleet is looking pretty small, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Oh, good, we got the Missouri divisions coming. My goal is to hold here, up into there. We're going to push hard and fast into there. If possible, and if we make any more divisions, we're going to hit them right here. Defend against, defend the line against the south. Uh, upstate New York, we might not get that. Massachusetts would have been nice. Uh, I'm glad I didn't do the one for Northern California soldiers, too. We really don't have a lot. We got Kentucky, which is six. That's probably the most. Let's choose Kentucky. That'd be fine. Need a general. Hmm, they still got Eisenhower. Hubner? Hmm. Hmm. He is offensive, which is pretty good. Go and choose Leslie, maybe? No, I like the artillery specialist, but... Lucian. Battle hey, we won in New York! Awesome! The battle between syndicalist militia forces in New York City, all the way down into the south, into New Jersey, has ended with federal forces declaring victory. Already, the leaders of syndicalist militias are being rounded up and imprisoned. Although many have vanished into the urban areas with lingering reports of violence still ongoing, indeed. It will likely take months for the federal government to reestablish firm control over the urban areas. For the moment, forces loyal to the government are concentrating on securing the eastern seaboard and strengthening the border with neighboring Pennsylvania. That is exactly what I wanted out of everything here. That is exactly what I wanted. That is awesome. That is very, 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 very awesome. How are these guys looking? Not strong? Um, give me all your subs. Are you guys destroyers? Okay, then. Do we have any other ships mixed here? Doesn't look like it, which is good. 
you have any other ships to mix to you? Ah, we do have some subs. Oh, crud. Which one are the subs attached to? Is it this one? Yeah, it is. Cool. Now, the next one is, do we keep this part of Texas down? The southern part of Texas. Serbian, okay. The Serbs are going crazy. You guys gotta go fast. Minnesota is merely a distraction. I hope they put all their forces there. Nevada lines with the Pacific States, which we saw coming. Richard Kernman, Sr., today declared Nevada's allegiance to the Pacific States, who refused to acknowledge the legitimacy of MacArthur's government. The governor had been in consultation with the Pacific government since its creation, and in a radio address said he could not stand by and let democracy fall in America without taking the stand. But so far, federal forces have withdrawn from the army bases in the region without threat of per 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 further. I can't speak. Holy cow. Further violence. Good. So we got that. We still got plenty of these things being made, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. The deadline will end soon. Very soon. Seven days, six days. Come on. Oh, my goodness. Ah, uh, see, I, I thought it would fail in Texas. While the state of Texas has firmly declared its allegiance to Huey Long, forces loyal to the federal government have been in hot contention for control and battles with the Minutemen have raged across the southern portion of the state. Governor James Allred had recently held a dis discussion or conference with several southern mayors and today declared that an accord with them had been reached. They would unite to support Long and over the proper American government an unfortunate loss. God dang it. Oh, man. That's not good. Hmm. Is there anything here that's really worth it right now? Not really. Standard oil would be nice to have. Oh, I love Magnolia Petroleum. We don't own Northern Texas. Refinery construction state seems pretty good. Um, Bethel Steel. This is why I want uh, Pennsylvania, because you can get so much more factory speed construction if you own Pennsylvania. Or at least Pittsburgh. So, it's just Pennsylvania in general, though. Uh, you know what? Let's choose a Navy one, just because... Uh, we're going to use them quite a bit. Capital ship, attack, armor, sword efficiency, max naval range. <sighs> Capital ship, attack, and armor. Hold on. Let me see the stats on the carrier. Capital ship, attack. Light ship, attack. Well, we don't really have that much attack. Mm, how many ships do we have? Two carriers, a dreadnought, and a cruiser. Seven battleships. I'm not making any more planes, I think. Yeah, I'm really not. As much as I want to do more carrier stuff, I don't have the industry for carrier planes right now. So, as much as I'd love to do this one, it's probably probably honestly better to do Kincaid. Because we have more capital ships. So, you might as well do that, right? And I'm waiting, waiting for these six so I can put these guys down here so we can guard this whole section. Come on. And, Army Reform Debate. So, uh, I'm not going to read this. I've already read a lot already. So, if you want to read this, just go right ahead. Now, I'm going to put this over here as I pull up the focus. So, we got to figure out whether Chaffee or Kathy wins. McNair convinces his superiors, or Craig sways a high command. So, we go with Adna, which looks like... Is that Adna? Huh. Is that the correct way of spelling that? I guess. You can do tactics, armor stuff, which is cool. I'm going to, We're probably going to go with McNair, just because I'm, we're already focusing a little bit on artillery. And we might as well maximize it. More breakthrough, more soft attack, into war artillery, which is great. Um, standardize the M1, which is, looks pretty good, which we've done. Or we could have done Craig's reform plan, which gives you bonuses immediately. Minimum training level, land doctrine, leader experience gain. Not bad stuff, really not bad stuff at all. But I'm going to go with McNair. Cool. Army Rangers would be nice. Standardize M1. Let's do that first, because we need more guns. The M1 designation infantry weapon has been in trial for years, wasting contracts. The final decision which design will go into production will be answered in a timely manner now, which is a good, good thing. Manufacturers. Uh, we own Utah for now. There's no telling how long we're going to own Utah. Upstate, we do own upstate New York, so we can make even more guns. Marlin, not bad. No, 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 than California. I love Remington, which at the time of this recording, I think they recently uh, filed for bankruptcy, maybe? Maybe not. Massachusetts, ooh. Ooh. Wait. One of these has really good stats on them. This one's pretty good. I like that Illinois one. Production costs, that's okay. This isn't bad. We'll probably go with this, because we own New Jersey, yeah. More soft attack and more breakthrough for our artillery. Yeah, that's what we probably want. Oh, uh, but we get this one, too. We own Virginia. We can produce more artillery. Soft attack and breakthrough for artillery. Oh, my goodness. Where's, where's Buick, Michigan? That's why I changed that. Hudson. Cushman. Kentworth. Ooh, soft attack and breakthrough, or just more... How much artillery are we making? None. So, if we're not making any... We might as well make the best use of whatever we have. So, we own New Jersey. Might as well. Good, we got you guys. Good. 
Unfortunately, you're all going to have to stick around down here. Which is fine. Totally, totally, totally fine. Um, I'm going to go put you under a Hubner for now. And you can be under Craig. That's fine. Mm, be defensive. That's what you're gonna. You're just gonna have to be. Oh my goodness! Even more stuff here. Oh, all we have upstate New York light tanks. Oh Missouri, armor, armor. This is all about armor. Nothing different here. Just armor. All right, whatever. Okay. I need to make more divisions too. Oh, mounted loyalties. We can't train any of these army loyalists. Uh, actually, that's not too bad. Infantry divisions, they're exactly the same. Yeah, wait, hold on. They're exactly the same. Uh, 18 combat with artillery, support artillery. 18 combat with support artillery. That means nothing. Um, okay. Cavalry divisions wouldn't be not too bad to make. I could make a lot of militia. You know what? Let's make a lot of militia. I hate, I hate, 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 hate using militia. But they're really useful if you have enough guns. Which we don't. But maybe eventually, if we make enough guns, I just want them to hold the line. That's all I really care about, so. Oh, and we let one day go by, which is not good. Uh, Massachusetts, we don't own yet. Oh, we don't own upstate New York yet. New Jersey. Oh, I'd love that so much. Four in Kansas. Four in Maryland. Four in New Jersey. New York City, seven? Yes, I have to do that one. And then Virginia. We might not get to the Kansas one before they fall apart. But we'll see what happens. Deadline looms. 30 dead deadline issued by the federal government is almost at an end. With none on the sides having stood down. Indeed, it's clear that the rebellious states have used the intervening time to raise militias throughout their controlled areas, meaning a civil war will be a difficult fight indeed. What shall come, shall come. And for the love of God, please let us smash through these guys. They have three, seven to thirty-six divisions, which is not bad. It's time for us to whip these boys into shape. And actually, before we do that, before we do that, do we have an airbase? Oh, actually, you guys are. Oh god, I forgot about you guys. That's not good. Get on the line, god dang it. I took too long figuring out where y'all at. Oh good, we don't even have any flipping fighters. Oh, I got some fighters here, that's okay. Do that. Yeah, all right. Cool. Um, medium bombers. We got a lot of medium bombers. Wow. Are these all. Oh. Hello. I forgot about all these guys. Well, you guys are carrier stuff. Bombardiers, cool. Cool. Oh, you're probably going to need that. Cool, cool, cool. Um, I really don't want to use these guys. These are all naval bombers plus air support and fighters. Uh, actually, yeah. I don't want to use you guys. I want to save you guys for the fleet. Because we're definitely going to need to save them for the fleet. Do something like that. If we can blockade them completely, that'd be awesome. Which would be pretty difficult to do, considering our limited resources. But we'll see what happens. As soon as... Oh, it's lagging. It's lagging. Nothing yet. Nope. Nothing yet. Nothing yet. Y'all best hold, man. Y'all best hold. God, we need so many guns. Japan seizes Guam, and now we're at war. With American turmoil, Japan has moved on to the island of Guam. There's very little that the U.S. government can do to stop Japan at the point. Second American Civil War, though. The federal government's deadline has come and gone. With large militia forces that have been raised on every side, it is clear that the answer truly is this. The Second American Civil War has begun. Oh, my lord. Ugh. Oh. We need more guns like that. We're making artillery. We're making some fighters. We're making some... We actually have a lot of emphasis on this. Make go there. Bring it down to two. Bring it down to three. You could still use that. Uh, anything else here? Carrier fighters? We got one in carrier fighters, which is nice. I didn't realize that. Uh, carrier fighter, carrier fight, plus carrier support. We don't believe in this. Carrier naval bomber, you can have one as well, because you're going to need it. Uh, put you guys near the top, too. A few more guns. That's all we really need right now. Cool. We are at war. We should... We are, Like I said earlier, we are on war economy. Um, air superiority is probably the best thing we can choose. Plus air support is always nice. More ground support is always awesome. Air superiority is probably the way to go, though. Yeah, that's probably the way to go. Cool, and now we're at war. Go, 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 for the love of God. Go, go, Inspector Gadget. Like, seriously, like, you have to go now. We have to split up Pennsylvania. Do not let these guys move. We have to take Pennsylvania out. Go ahead, you do this. Cut them off, you come here. You get to Pittsburgh. You are going straight to Cleveland. If we can cut Pennsylvania off completely, that is pretty much the end for them, which is nice. 
You guys, take Harrisburg. Cut across. Get to New England. Alright. Charleston. Um, are you guys headed to do great things? Yes, you are. Are you guys headed to do great things? Somewhat. Get to Columbus. Get to Columbus. We have to get to Indianapolis, which you have no organization. Uh, you get to Indianapolis as well. Try to get to Chicago. You might be able to do so. You probably won't. Get to Springfield. And get to Chicago as well. Milwaukee, Madison. We'll see what happens. So, Canada moves. No! Canada, no! What the heck? New England the region has been beset by syndicalist militia violence. To the point that the government or governors in the region worried at the prospect of being overrun by combined syndicates of America and unwilling to wait for the federal government to be restored, have requested that the Dominion of Canada intervene with its forces to restore order. You goddamn pieces of garbage. The Canadian government has sent us notification of their intent and has stressed that only they wish to safeguard the lives of innocents and that they will discuss the matter further with the American government once peace has been restored. While some in the federal cabinet feel that the Canadians have violated our sovereignty, there's little we can do about it in the moment. We'll deal with this later. You bunch of traitors. Oh no, these are traitors. You, you think, you know, fighting against me is traitors enough? You literally seceded from the nation. What the heck? You seceded from the nation and wanted to be like, nope, we don't want any part of this. We're going to wait till you guys kill each other off. Are you kidding me? That's just not as bad, if not worse, than openly declaring war on us. You only want the good times? You're not going to stick around for, you know, America? Pfft, please. What a bunch of garbage people. We didn't even... That's just, that's just trash. That is straight trash, man. Hey, this, Japan wants to help us instead of uh, the PSA, which is good. It's nice. And guys, we are fighting for America. Oh, that's not going to be easy. It ain't going to be easy, but no one asked for an easy laugh or it. At least, you know, a lot of us don't. The territory of Hawaii revolts with the civil war going on in the mainland. The island of Hawaii is falling into chaos. They decided to separate from the country and have declared a state of emergency upon the island. With the civil war raging all around us, we have to deal with this later at a later date. Which is fine. Go, go, go. Conscription. With the war ongoing on the question is, should we implement conscription or not? Doing so would provide us with the men we need to restore order to the country. However, it's not a popular move. Some suggest focusing on propaganda instead. Implement conscription. I don't want to lose war support right now. And even though we don't really need it, we still get 100 political power, so that way we can continue just to raise this. We can just immediately use it for that, which is fine with me. I really don't want to hurt war support. Are you guys headed up that way? That's fine. Good. Keep New Jersey. Panama Garrison, with the outbreak of the Civil War, the Garrison and Panama has decided to return to America to fight for the government. This has left the canal defenseless, but on the other hand, we need everyone we can do to fight, which is good. Thank you for joining. Alright, so he belongs already cut us off, which is, oh my god, so bad. Guys, 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 come on. You have to move. What are y'all doing? Get, get, Go up, go up. We almost have West Virginia. We've already actually encircled two, a division. Which is awesome. Go, 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 motorized go. If we do fast enough, we can we can defeat Reed and his pretender faction. With America in turmoil, Cuba has moved its troops onto the U.S. at least Gu Guantanamo Bay naval base. There's very little that the U.S. government can do to stop Cuba at this point. You bunch of Cubans. Hey, we killed, we killed off another a, a Reed division. Awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. Oh, we are, we are out of god dang fuel. No. I already kind of figured that would happen, so go ahead and go home. You guys probably aren't causing that much fuel. Something in China's going on, but no one really cares because it's China. Come this way. Go ahead and start beating them up. West Virginia, creation of the Office for Emergency Management. With the outbreak of the Civil War, the President dispatched the creation via executive order of an office that functioned to assist the President in clearing information on immediate defense measures. With it, the Office for Emergency Management has been torn to maintain, maintain liaison with national defense agencies and to coordinate the defense, national defense program, as well as keep both the Army and Navy in direct contact with the President. However, the mess of the agencies, offices, and commissions we have generated in the last few decades continues to grow, and many agree that our government should start looking into ways of reducing the amount of offices and increase the efficiency of existing ones. Oh, hey, we have some suck a convoy. That's nice. Uh, you guys, yeah, go go home. Go home, son. Oh, God. Go here. What? No. Not everyone here. No. Get up, get up, get up. Get to Indy. You guys, get up here to Indy and then go to Chicago. It's fine if we can't take it. It's the goal of us. If it's our goal. Oh, my God. They have so many divisions everywhere. Um, you guys go here. I want you to come there, there, there. There you go. Hey, so I got another convoy. Nice. Now, he belong doesn't seem to really be attacking us right now, which is fine. Which is good and fine, Daddy. Hey, we've made another encirclement. Great job, guys. Great job. You guys are heading up that way. You know what? Just go this way, then. Just cut him off. That'll make it nice and easy. 
This is the mess, which is what we kind of expected, honestly, so I'm not really worried about that. We took Indianapolis, which is great. Uh, just come down there, it's fine. A couple divisions in New York City. Beautiful. Uh, actually, no, don't, don't do that. You guys come on this side. Beat the snot out of them. Get right there, and we're going to take out Philadelphia if we can. You'll be down here, and once this is done, we'll help defend against uh, Huey Longdong. But hey, at least we made already one encirclement. Maybe we can make some more. That would be great. Cool. But well, I think this video has gone on long enough. We will have a massive civil war to contend with tomorrow. If you enjoyed today's episode, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check my Discord link in the description below, and tell me, please, in the comments, what would be a good intelligence agency for us right now? Especially since we're led by Mac Daddy. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great rest of your day.